Welcome back to our studio. Now I am working on blocking in the face of the sculpture of Saint Sarah. I begin with blocking in my shadows and as you can see I had already done a value sketch on my canvas with a mixture of my mud which is ultramar two parts ultramarine blue plus one part alizarin crimson plus liquid. And that gives me a value study. I, I know where the lights and darks are on the planes of his face. That sketch is dry. So now I can come back and paint over it. And I am start with blocking in my shadows. This is a mixture of my mud plus a little bit of cadmium orange plus a tiny bit of cadmium red light plus a little bit of ultramarine blue and white. And this gives me a nice bronzy color. I'm also using here, I'm using a little ultramarine blue on the side of the face where they get some reflected light back onto the side of his face. Now, because my, I think my sky is still a little bit wet. No, not really. A little bit. Um, it looks like my sky is dry, so it, then I can just go where I've painted back over, I can just lift a little of that color back off of the, off of the sky where I sort of went over. If it had not been dry, I have my paint mixtures left over from the sky, so I could always go back and, and paint that. I have my reference material on my laptop to the right side of my easel. On the, it's on, sitting on my tabaret. That makes it really easy for me to refer to my reference material. I've got a really good picture of this statue, sculpture of St. Sarah. We lived in Carmel, oh, just a wonderful place to live, and we visited the mission numerous times and took lots and lots of pictures, so it's nice to have all those pictures to, as reference. Now I am going to take a little of my sky color right now and just come around this edge just to soften this. I don't want him to look like he's just pasted out onto the background. So I want to soften some of these edges as we paint so that he goes back. That is a technique that we use in painting that allows us to give the feeling of dimension. By softening those edges, it makes them go back. He's got some dark thin under this cheek. He's got a cleft chin. Jack always used to laugh. He also had a little dimple in his chin, and he said that when kids are little, as, as God is deciding how we're going to look as, as people before we are born, he goes through and just every once in a while he goes in and just puts a little dimple in their chin. He said those are the super blessed ones. Since he had a little dimple in his chin, I think that, that story suited him very, very well. Jack was always full of all kinds of wonderful stories. But he was a special man. Taught me to paint. And just helped lots and lots of artists. I'm working with what we call a bright brush. The tip of it is square. And I can cover broad areas with that, or I can use the corner to make details. Now I'm bringing this shadow under his chin 
onto his neck, the light coming in from the upper left, and then it also comes across here on this on his cape. And there's a little blue in these reflected lights because of the blue sky reflecting down into them. And I accentuate it a little bit more than it really is, but that's some of the joy of painting. That's, that's my impressionism coming out. Now we're going to start up his, these shadows under his eyes. This one, he's, you're going to, eyelid's going to catch a little light. This one, this one's darker. This one's more in shadow, totally in shadow. And now I'll start bringing the lighter. This kind of rounds. It gets a little darker as he goes around the side of his face here. get lighter on this area. Over his eyebrows will be a little bit lighter, but I'm going to go ahead and get this value in here first. And he'll have a little lightness on the cheek bone or the point of the cheek. It will be darker. Get the bridge of his nose here. Just a matter of looking at the values. The, the plane, ha the face has definite what we call planes. Like the plane of the forehead is this way, then the bridge of the nose is upright, so it it has a shadow on the right side of it because the light's coming in from the left. This is very different for me to face, paint a face that's not in flesh tones. Painting a sculpture is a little bit different. Different values, different tones. But the planes of the face are exactly the same. I'm just using different colors. lighter mixture of my light color here. Add more white into that and that's all again that same basic mixture of my mud plus cadmium orange plus a little bit of cadmium red light plus a little bit more ultramarine blue plus white. Yeah. This is my my lightest value. I'm not going to leave those brush strokes as hard as they are up there on his eyebrow, but I'll come back. This will need a lot of refining. Right now I'm just blocking it in. This is not meant to be the final finished version, but it just is starting to get the canvas covered. Just get my light patterns established. Lower lip here, and then he gets a little light right here on his chin. Right now it looks pretty crude, but like I say, there's going to be a lot more refining. Bring this shadow under his nose. A lot of refining and softening. This gets a little bit of light right in there. Now let me do his neck here where the light shines on it. Just a little bit here.
So there we have it. St. Sarah's face is blocked in. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos, and I do hope you'll, you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting, as well as others I do. And you can always go to that using the link in the description below. I also show the address on the final frame of my video. I really appreciate you watching today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.